Hello, and welcome to iClub Certified Training. I am your host, ICT4. This tutorial focuses on softness, strengths, and sliders. Use softness, strengths, and sliders to create a higher degree of realistic qualities in your scene. I'm going to add a terrain into my scene and use the canyon to show you the edges of water and the edges of particles in a scene and how to clearly soften those edges to create a more realistic reaction to the other elements in the scene. To add a water template into the scene, select the water tab and then double click one from the content manager on the left. Notice in the modify panel on the right you have many different options to choose from when editing the water templates inside of iClone. For example, if I wanted to raise the height of my water in the scene, I could simply do so under the modify parameters found here. If I wanted to increase the water size, I could also increase this value to do that, and then use the sliders to increase the wave size or the wave speed. To edit the appearance of the water, look under the advanced water parameters portion of the menu and notice that there is things like underwater fog to check on that will enhance the appearance. However, when editing the edges of the water, you can use the edge softness slider to decrease or increase the amount of hard edge that you have when coming into contact with other elements in the scene, such as terrain models. For this example, I've used the canyon model, and if I want to make that edge a more softer edge, I can increase the value using the edge softness slider found in the modify panel. Notice if I increase the value of the edge softness using the slider, it will make a softer edge around anything that the water comes into contact with in the scene, such as the terrain model. Whereas in previous versions of iClone, this was unable to be adjusted. Also, the above water clarity slider will greatly enhance or decrease the value of the overall clarity of the water surface by adjusting that slider as well. Now when I click play on my project, you can see that the water affects the other models in the scene in a much more realistic and natural sense. The edges of particle effects in iClone can also now be softened as well. Select the particle tab and then Let's place something simple in our scene, such as a fog particle effect found in the environment folder. Scroll down and double click fog to add it into the scene. After placing a particle effect into your scene, notice that many different editing parameters become available to you in the modify panel on the right of the user interface. Click and drag any gray area of the modify panel to scroll the panel up or down. I'm going to select the addition blend mode so you can more clearly see the fog particle I have placed in the scene over the water and the terrain model. Under the particle setting portion of the modify panel you will find the softness strength slider as well. For most particles it will be set to 100% already however I'm going to drag it to a low value of zero and then click play on my project to show what most iCloners are used to seeing in projects, which are hard edges at the bottom of particle layers where they interact or intersect with other elements in the scene, such as the water template you see. To correct this in iClone 4, the softness strength slider has been added. Simply click and drag the slider up to create a soft edge around any particle that you have placed inside your scene. As you can see, if I drag it up to the value of 100, it will now blend seamlessly with the other assets in the scene, such as the terrain model and the water template. Now when I click play, you can see that the fog seems to just roll off the water without any sort of edge being noticed by the viewer. When you zoom in using softness strengths and sliders to any water or particle edge in a scene, you can see that utilizing these tools will greatly enhance the realistic qualities to the next project that you develop inside iClone 4.0. For other tutorials and free training resource videos, be sure to check them out here at iClone Certified Training.